questions for AJ, we've got Rob up here, myself and Freddie. We'll carry on. Well done to the winner. And um, we'll be back again. Get back into training. Quick 12 rounds. Great experience as well in the ring. And then um, we progress from this point on once again. So um, we'll be doing it all again soon. Much better now. It's weird. It was bad at one stage. It, went, it was bad, then it's getting a lot better now. Also good. Mm. What went wrong? Just taking a loss, but we'll get it right. Probably in the ninth. From the ninth, I couldn't see in the ninth round. I couldn't see anything really. <laughs> like, my eye was shut. But it was a good experience because, like, in adversity, um, you just gotta learn to control yourself, stay on top of things. So when I couldn't see anything, it's the first time it's happened in a fight. So I was thinking, all right, cool, this is the first time and my eyes closed up in a fight, I can't see nothing. But I'm looking at a one eye kind of thing. And um, yeah, but it's got, it got better as the rounds went on. Good pace, and we'll be back. You're 3 months 100%, 110%. I'm ready to get back to training them. Because of the 12 rounds, um, my lungs and everything, it was a good 12 rounder, so I'll be in a good place when I get back into training to pick up where we left off. Huh? Oh, thank you, man. Appreciate that. Thank you. Anthony, in terms of your eye, if it hadn't swollen up and you'd been able to see, what was your strategy in those last few rounds? Um, same. Continue pro continue the process. Continue the process. But when I couldn't see, I had yeah. But yeah, just continue the process. Let's be honest with you. We all do respect, not necessarily. Um, he's just a little lighter, so the pace, he's got a good pace, but um, he still gets hit. You know, he gets hit a lot. And in the rematch, you'll just learn how to hit him more and be more concussive with our punch selection. I never tend to look at the opponent, I just tend to look at myself and realise where I went wrong. So it's not so much what he done, it's the opportunities I gave him. So it's not so much him, I'm just going to go back and look at myself and correct my wrongs. Yeah. It was a good, good chess match. I'm a boxer, and I'm a box fighter. I wanted to outbox him, do certain things, and then uh, yeah, after that, my eye man just peaked in the ninth round. It was a great lesson though, great lesson. I feel like the whole fight for me, that for me personally, I'm just, I'm just learning this game. I'm studying, I'm learning. It's part of the process. Um, eye closing up. As you said, eight rounds are going wild, and then the ninth, you, you hit a bit of um, a little issue happens in, in the fight. You've got to stay consistent. Um, I'll come back and try to be better. I'm sure I'll be better in the next one. You mentioned the 12 rounds as well. Sorry, you mentioned the 12 rounds as well. Um, and obviously, good cardio and stuff. Like Great cardio, um, great cardio. Would you come in lighter, heavier? Are you happy with how everything was with your engine? Yeah, I, said, I, don't, I don't tend to look at the weight. And think to myself, oh, you know, I want to come in lighter or heavier. I just look at whatever happens in sparring. I just adapt my training to how I'm um, performing in sparring. And then the weight kind of figures itself out. As a heavyweight, we haven't got to make weight. So I'll just condition myself to how I'm performing when I'm doing my rounds in the ring. Anthony, do you think would this be easier to get over than the release of the suggest that? Oh yeah, look, I'm a different kind of animal, yeah? Um, I'm not, I'm not a sulker, you know? This is a blessed opportunity. 
to be able to fight for the heavyweight championship of the world, to fight good fighters time and time again, for people to come out. So, uh, yeah, it's a blessed opportunity. I'm not, I'm not going to go home tonight and be crying about it because this is war. Um, it's a long, it's a long process. Like this isn't just like one fight and then I'm done. I've got an opportunity to go back to the drawing board. So I can't go back and sulk. That's wasting time. I'm going back to look at ways I can improve straight away. I've already been watching the fight and figuring out, oh, I could have done that better already in my mind anyway. So yeah, I'm not too bothered. But what I'm bothered about is how much better I can get. That's why I'm putting my energy. I'm not putting my energy into sulking. I'm putting my energy into ways I can improve. AJ, you'll, you'll go into this rematch almost certainly as the underdog, which you haven't had for a long, a long while, certainly since Klitschko, maybe before. Is that, could that possibly suit you, that, in terms of mentality, that people might not be expecting um, to win? I don't look at it kind of like underdog or whatnot. If you know me, I'm not, I'm not fussed about... I always say that the belts don't represent me, I represent myself, so underdog or champion is what it is, but um, I'm just looking to go in there improved, stronger, smarter, and um, yeah, I'll get, I, I believe I'll get a good win in the next fight because of what I learned this fight. I'm, I'm a quick learner and we'll bounce back. Anthony, there's been um, a few like, criticisms naturally of the game plan to sort of choose to engage Usyk in a bit of a boxing vibe. Do you have any regrets about that? None at all. As I said, it's all about experiences. You've got to trust the process. Um, if it went well tonight, it would have been perfect, but it didn't. So I can't really look at it and have any regrets. We went through the process, but what I'm happy about, as I said, you've always got to look at the positive, is that I can go again. And I've got a chance of becoming you know, headweight champion of the world again. So only positives from here, moving forward. I've had enough of looking at things from a negative point of view. Like, we always tend to look at things from a negative point of view. I'm just keeping a positive head on my shoulders. And um, game plan or not, i always say the game plan is to win. The game plan is praying. <coughs> the game plan is to win, and that's all I focus on. I'm not really worried about anything else um, that happened tonight. Thank you, thank you again for coming to talk to us. No you problem. Where you felt um, you are getting a foothold and building momentum at any stage? Always, always, always. Really. There were certain things I was doing in the fight that I've never done before um, as I'm gaining experience. So yeah, I felt like I had a good foothold in the fight. And I'm going to build on that. You know, I'm definitely going to build on that. Can I ask, um, Anthony, can I ask your coach, uh, Rob McCracken? Feel free. Um, Rob, um, obviously <laughs> you will have seen what happened tonight. Um, you know, and Anthony was box fighting, uh, a boxer. Um, what would you suggest is, is a game plan, a better plan going into a second fight? Because that's obviously what Anthony wants, what Eddie has told us he wants. Where do you go back to with the drawing board and, and what do you do against this guy, Yusuf? Yeah, there's, time there's no drawing board, Gareth. Um, the provoking. Yeah, there's no drawing board, to be honest. Um, you've got to apply pressure behind your jab and your right hand and you've got to keep him off balance and you've got to put shots together when you get there. As we've seen tonight, Usyk's a very good boxer. But look, you know, Anthony's already addressed that he's learning on the job, and you know he showed that in the Ruiz rematch. And I've got no doubts that he, you know he applies himself, which he will. That you know he'll get a great performance in the rematch because Usyk, uh, Usyk's boxed tremendously well tonight, and Anthony will have learnt loads tonight. You, you know you've got to got to apply better pressure with a fighter like that, and not give him too much time. And that's really what should happen. Did you feel, Anthony, that you had him hurt at times in there? Certainly the fifth and the sixth round, you had a lot of success to the body and you, you seemed to have ascendancy in those rounds. Um, yeah, definitely. Definitely. But we went 12 rounds, so... Yeah. <clears throat> you hit people hard, you hurt them. But they're smart. They're good boxers. At this level, people know how to survive... Um, when you hit someone hard, they know how to ride the shot. They know they're just quite intelligent at this level. So even though you hurt them, it's not it's not so concussive where the next punch that lands is going to knock them out. It's like chopping down a big tree. It takes a bit of time. It takes a few a few shots with an axe. 
when you're at a different level, a lower level, it's a lot easier to knock someone out. So I'm at a stage in my career where I'm trying to progress and I'm trying to level up. And I will get there for sure. And um, when I was walking back through the tunnel, I just said to myself, I'm ready to get back to the gym. I'm ready to just put that work in. Like, most people, when they finish a fight, it's like, yeah, let me go out and have a bit of fun. But my mindset is a bit different. Like, I just want to get back to the gym and get back on the grind so I can improve. So when I'm fighting these good guys, when I do see that they're hurt, etc., I can capitalize on the opportunity once again. Um, but as I said, like, it's a great lesson today. It was a great lesson. I know we can look at it from a negative point of view, but for me, I've got to take it as a great lesson and build on that situation. You grew after the Andrew Ruiz fight. I've seen you grow. Are you going to grow from this? Hundred, hundred percent. As I said, I'm not a weak person. I don't want to be in my in my bedroom like sulking about the situation. I'm looking at it from a point of view like great lesson. Go back, study. Um, and just rejuvenate myself because no one's going to do it for me. I can't depend on anyone to come and pick me up and pat me on the back. That's why I'm not going to, you know, put my head in my palms and cry all night about it. I'm going to lift myself up and look myself in the mirror and say, I know I can do it. I just got to put myself up to it. And that's where I want to get back to training, back to the drawing board and get back on the gravy train again. It's like... If this was the end of the story, it would be more emotional for me, but I know that I've got, I, I trust in my process. Whatever's happening, good and bad, I just trust in my process. And Anthony, uh, it was the first southpaw fighter that you fought since Charles Martin. Did that make it extra difficult on the night? Um, there's an old saying in it, <laughs> if you want to go down as a great fighter, don't fight southpaws, <laughs> especially good ones. <laughs> so, uh, he's a good fighter, he's a good fighter. Southpaws are, are tricky, right? They're not. They're not the easiest fighters. I know if I was fighting an orthodox fighter, I probably would have knocked him out by the night, no matter who it is. But I know this experience today is invaluable and <clears throat> the next fight will benefit me a lot. Well, this, what I went through today, will have a massive benefit for me in the next fight, right? I don't think it's going to do me any worse. I'm going to come out with a positive mindset, with great experience from this fight, from the whole training camp that I can build on. So it's not a bad thing. And after the fight, did you exchange words with Alexander Usyk? No, after the, after the fight, no. I was just quite disappointed. Um, it was a fast-paced fight. I was catching my breath. But in the changing room, I've just said to him, I'll see you again, really. I'm looking forward to it. Sent a message to his kids as well, saying hello, and that's it. AJ, a couple, couple more questions, guys. I know you're looking forward into the future. How you yeah. come back from this, of course, and you've got a positive mindset. But... Is a part of you look back to the fact that that undisputed fight was so close and now, you know, it's back to square one, starting again, getting those title fights, does it frustrate you a little bit? Nah, 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 nah. Like, the, the road to undisputed and stuff is like, it's, it's marketing, isn't it? Like, when I, when I pulled up today, it just reminds me, like, of, um, it's like a big circus, like, this is the greatest show on earth, but for someone like me, I don't really, <laughs> the road to undisputed and all that stuff is good. As I said, I'll fight Tyson Fury, wild out whatnot without the belts the belts is fun it's great it's legacy um, but with or without the belts I'll fight whoever Do you know the road to undisputed is a nice title to have and a nice title to chase but would you still watch it with without the belts 100% exactly so that's the main thing is that you've got two competitive fighters in the ring um, from UK soil that just want to go toe to toe I think it's so important to address as well that we had a full pack stadium today, 70,000. Uh, probably one, of the, probably the biggest um, since the lockdown. A few words for the fans that came out today. Sorry, a few words to the for, to the fans that came. Um, out. I'm just hoping that they're happy. Like, in t obviously, certain fans that were here for Usyk are happy. Certain fans that were here for me aren't happy. Um, so, I'm just hoping that they had a good night tonight because that's what matters to me. I just want to make sure that people appreciate the work I put in because I don't take it for granted as I always say is that when I come out I'm just looking at like yeah I'm the man I'm looking at like that's why I want to get back to the gym and work hard because I don't take it for granted I know how these people put their time and effort into supporting me and I know it's going to upset some people that I lost but I say keep positive like this is just part of life everyone's going through stuff in their life I go through some stuff mine's just publicised to people and we just got to keep on moving, keep my head up. No one's going to pick me up. That's what I'm trying to say. We'll go through stuff. And I'm just going to get back on the gravy train. Hope people had a good time tonight. 
and um, I hope they can learn from my situation and not give up like stay strong like that's exactly what I'm going to do and we'll see when when roughly next year yeah. next year I'll well, see you them all next year moving up from cruiserway power yeah um everyone can punch everyone can punch yeah everyone can punch we'll go again soon we'll go again soon all right guys thank you very much for coming thanks for waiting behind and uh thank you very much. Time, everyone thank you appreciate you guys see you soon.